I, when I saw this article in the Los Angeles Times about the Central City Community Church of the Nazarene Karaoke Night, I recall my days on Skid Row. I was there, I sang a couple of songs, I sang Moon River, I sang the Beatles, um, uh, when you get on this skin, you begin to make it better and so on. Um, uh, you know, it, it, it was just like an oasis, a respite in, in, the, in the times of drought and, and hardship down there. And uh, I think I remember these two people here, um, the singer <laughs> and, the, um, and the entourage or the encourager. I recall a child once sang um, uh, um, this song. Um, if you need, um, I would lend a hand, um, and uh, she did her best. And man, she collected a whole bunch of money. I give her a dollar. Some give her five, twenty, and so on. Next week she came back and she sang. But I mean, it was just like an encouragement. And uh, I told her parents, my the priest, you know, told her, look, don't even work to sing again. Um, it's not that. You know, you're going to be the next um, Michael Jackson or something like that. But it's just appreciation, you know. And um, there wasn't that response. And uh, it's like she felt crushed and so on. But um, you got some real uh, talent down there. This guy sang a um, U.S. side um, song about um, when he sings and calls the name Mary's as if he's praying. And um, you had this one, um, you're going to burn your mother down. That's the young girl who sang, uh, that's her mom. And, uh, oh, you just have some really good times, the old time songs and so forth. So when I saw this, I felt nostalgic. I felt like, oh man, I need to go back to LA. I need to go back to Skid I need to go back to this church and see if I could try some of these new uh, songs I learned here in Puerto Rico. However, um, you know, this, this church, it is, I, I, I think, it might be the same pastor. Um, he does his best, uh, you know. Uh, one time I went there, there were uh, folks who had a reunion or a meeting of ex-addicts, ex-addicted people, and uh, they were talking of how um, the new life without addiction is so fascinating. But every now and then they're tripping up under the curse and so on, and they just reminded that hey, it is a church, okay, um, and so on. So. I think the, the, the minister of the church, he's doing his best to reach out to the folks on Skid Row. And um, you have donuts and you have uh, coffee and and so on. And uh, it's just a, a night that you look forward to. Uh, when I mean, when you, when you do things that you like, I guess, or that brings back, takes you back to a time in the past when uh, things were different. Yeah, you were at home or um, you were at some happy junction and so on. It's just trans foreign and 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 and, and, and uh, putting one back into that position and bring that position up to today and uh, you know it was a, a good experience so um, I encourage him to keep the good work up. <laughs> Look at this man's face and I guess this uh, I think this is a lady. Um, you know, singing our soul out and it's like this is an encouragement. I mean, this is how black folks do stuff. Uh, you sometimes in the south when they're preaching and uh, the ministers uh, get in push and they, um, you find folks who will get up and start encouraging and, and the whole church stands up and people throw in the purse at them and so on and uh, it, it's just what it, it, it was really good.